Hi, I'm Scott. I'm the Executive Director here at Six Stones Mission Network. And can you believe it's already the 1st of March? Two months of this year have already gone by. It was a great year last year. Got a lot of things cooking already this year, but here we are at March 1st. I'm standing in the CPR's warehouse here. We've got a lot of tools and things we're going to be dusting off and getting ready for our spring blitz. And yeah, I'm in a suit. It doesn't look like I'm ready to go. But we're working really hard to make sure that CPR spring blitz is a huge success this year. The only way it's going to be a success is with you. We need you to go online, sign up, volunteer. We've been hugely blessed in the fact that we've seen a lot of different teams, organizations, churches, businesses that are saying we're going to come together, we're going to serve and bless this community. We'll be there April 4th and 5th. We should have somewhere between 24 and 30 homes that are ready to go. So we need you. Come join us. Be a part of that. And we're already, we've been working for months on the Run for Hope. Last year we saw over 1,400 runners participate in the 1 mile, 5K, and 10K run. We'll be back at Pennington Field this year. It'll be a certified course. Thank you, Luke's Locker, North Hills Hospital, um, and on and on. Lots of folks that are getting on the bandwagon, Frost Bank. We need you to come join us as well and be a part of that run. So you've got to get back out. Even though it's a little bit of cold, it feels like a little bit of spring, it's time to get up, get moving, and get in shape for one of those three events, the 1 Mile, 5K, or 10K. But we'll see you there. You can click on those links below to register for CPR or the run. Or the other thing I wanted to share with you real quickly is, is we made a challenge this year at the beginning of the year. We call it the Love Challenge. Matter of fact, you may have seen the story over the holidays of a Starbucks up in the Northeast where one guy in the line began to pay for the guy behind in that car, their coffees. That began to take hold, and 24 hours later it was still going over Christmas Eve. Someone blessing the person behind them. So what we're challenging our community to do is let's see if we can create a love project. Maybe something that you can do just to be nice, to be generous, to give back in some way to anybody. Be nice. But at the same time, it may be something you see. We want to hear your story. We want to share your story. Matter of fact, we've already got a couple of those up on our site. You can go on Facebook. You can tell us that story, something you saw, something you did, or something you want to do to help someone out. And if you don't really want to share who it is, you just want to get the story out, you can actually click the link below, submit it to us, and we'll put that out anonymously. But we believe that love, that's the deal. That's the big deal behind the Catalyst of Hope. Loving on our community is the thing that will transform. So we want you to get in this game and see if we can start a movement here, a love project. Thank you for all you've done in 2013. It was a phenomenal year. We're excited about 2014. I'll see you April 4th and 5th, CPR, and I'll see you May 17th at the Run for Hope at Pennington Field. God bless you.